Okay, this is where we ended the last video. Here we have the driver's wish map. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look for another commonly looked at map, and that's this one. Three little bumps. You will very soon come to recognise this map. This is the torque map or the torque limit map. Sometimes it will have three bumps, sometimes four, sometimes five perhaps two, but generally speaking two or three is a, a reasonable number to look for. But it's the little bump shapes that tends to give you the clue that you're looking at the torque limiting map. So if we double click on that one, there we go, we've got our map. I'm just going to click back on there so that it's not in grey in the background. So we'll go back to that and bring that back up. Right, we've got the data. We know what it's called so what we'll do is we'll just double click on there that will give us the chance to change the name. Now lots of people call it the torque map. I prefer to call it the torque limit map or torque limiting map. The description of the map it depends what you want to put here at this moment because the torque limiting map doesn't limit the torque on one of these maps like it would do on some of the newer ECUs. So in other words on a newer ECU what you would be limiting would be the torque. So you might actually have figures for torque. But on EDC 15s what you do is you limit the amount of fuel that's being put out by or put into the engine. So whereas you actually are talking about torque, what we're looking at is injection quantity which is IQ. The unit is probably going to be milligrams per stroke which means that these numbers down here are probably not 32 naught naught but are actually 32 so we probably want to make that 0.01 and get 32 and we probably want a value that makes some sort of sense after the decimal point if we allow for one then you can see we've got one decimal point. If we want to allow for none, we've got no decimal points, or we can go for two. Now in this particular case, it's debatable as to whether you need one or two, but what I'll do is I'll leave that one as two for now. So I'll just accept that one as two, and I'll say OK. So here we've got some figures. Now they might seem fairly familiar because we saw on the EGR map over here a figure of 51 milligrams and then we saw on the driver's wish map figures in the region of 51, 52 with an absolute maximum of 70. And on here we've got figures, if we look at them, well we seem to be stopping at 52 don't we? So we've got figures that stop at 52. Now let's see if we can spot what this is up here. We're being told it's revs per minute. Let's have a look. Engine speed, revs per minute. Winholz has got that wrong again. Let's try changing that to 1 and then having a look at the numbers. We'll say OK, get that out of the way. Now this is such a long number of columns that it's gone off the edge, so I've got to slide that across. But it's telling me that this goes up to 5,200 revs. Now the other maps went to about 5,300 that we looked at, so we look like we're in the right area, so maybe that's okay. And interestingly, at 5,200 revs, look what's happened to the fuel. None. So, you want to drive at what is a very 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 high revs for an ordinary little turbo diesel engine and when you try no fuel is injected. I'll let you think about that one. Right let's come back down to the end here. 
what are these? Now, unless you've looked this up or you've looked to see the little sign above, you'd be hard put to guess what 600, 800 and 1000 are. We've got three rows. I'll just double click on them. And what they are actually is atmospheric pressure measured in millibars. So we've got a choice of three air pressures, 600, 800 or 1000. So in other words, the designers have taken into account that you might live at sea level, somewhere around about 900, 1000 millibars, but you might drive to an area of the world and climb a mountain with your car and the air pressure might well drop drastically. Now if I just say OK and we look at that, does it really make much difference? Well, not a lot. But look what they've done. When you're driving around at sea level, these are the figures in this row, and if you go to a part of the world that's much higher in the air, you've got a slight limiting effect. 40 will be limited to 39.6, not a lot. 51 has been limited to 49.5. But in other words, though, there is a slight limitation being introduced as a result of the change in air pressure. And this slight limitation as a result of air pressure is in part to protect the engine, but only via the turbocharger. So in other words, the turbocharger may well spin way too fast in thinner air and just simply destroy itself. And so that has been taken into account by the designers to help preserve your turbocharger. Now, if you play around with those figures, you need to bear that in mind, just like you need to bear in mind that at high revs, there is no fuel being injected. So if you start changing figures in maps, look at what the designers have already designed in. They may have had good reason, so don't just assume, oh, I'll change whatever I like and it won't matter. Because maybe it won't matter until one day it does. So bear that in mind.